Hey y'all, I'm experimenting with different resolutions on my camera, so I'm basically just going to talk at you for about eight minutes, let you know what's going on, maybe um, tell a few personal anecdotes. I'm down at the studio on Saturday, and it's, it's usually pretty quiet here on Saturdays. Um, Everyone's kind of, there, there's a big push because uh, our schedule goes Friday to Friday. So, uh, for example, uh, I'm client relations, so my job is to set up all the orders and to make sure that uh, everything goes smoothly. And that also involves uh, ordering the figures. And uh, so, basically, I have till Friday at 4 p.m. to get everything all ready in nice, neat project bins for the assemblers and then that gives them exactly seven days to get it all assembled and then on Friday afternoon of the following week the uh, the artists will come in the painters and I'll check out all their work for them it, it's usually not so choppy it's not like uh, one week two weeks three it's organic things kind of feed through but uh, in terms of scheduling things it's a week a one week to order one week to assemble one week to paint sometimes two weeks for painting if it's a large project. Um, right now, um, <clears throat> we're looking for uh, another painter uh, or possibly someone who could do painting and assembly. Uh, the, the more skills someone brings to the table, the better. Uh, I found uh, good people who have a variety of different abilities and I found that that, that really works best. Uh, you've got, um, you've usually got 10 to 20 armies coming through here. Usually when people take a tour of the studio, they're surprised on how much we're working on at a given time. And it is a delicate dance. And we are working at an emergency room pace every week, week after week. And um, so a lot of people think, you know, oh, it's a dream job. I'd love to work there. Well, we don't just sit around and play miniatures battles all day. And if you're an artist, if you're painting, it's not, you know, well, I can take as much time as I want. Um, you can't do that. There, there's pressure, there's a professionalism. But what I found is there's a three to nine month uh, hump that people get over to where it becomes enjoyable again, where the professional aspect of it, the business aspect, fuses neatly with the hobby part of it and it becomes thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. I, I don't think an artist really comes into their own until really the 